In this video, I will show you how to create a new disk partition on Windows 11. This is also applicable to any Windows operating system. It is a best practice to always isolate your important files or data from your operating system. If in case your operating system has been corrupted or infected with malware then you can easily reinstall the operating system. Another reason is if you want to install multiple operating systems on the same computer then you need to create another partition. Let's begin. Search for disk management. Choose create and format hard disk partitions. The disk management window will pop up. Another way to access disk management is you can right click on this PC or my computer if you are running Windows 10 and below. Show more options. Choose manage. Under storage, choose disk management. Here, you can also see the disk management. You can use any window you prefer. Under volume, you can see the disk drives available. C drive is where our operating system has been installed. The EFI partition and recovery partition are part of the Windows operating system so don't delete or remove these partitions or else your Windows operating system will be corrupted or in short, your computer won't boot. Also, you can see each volume capacity. Free space for each volume and also free space by percentage. Same details as below. Notice that I only have one disk drive installed on this computer. This disk size is one terabyte. You can also see here the EFI system partition, local disk C, recovery partition, and the local disk D where I store all my files. Now, to create a new partition. Choose the drive you want to shrink or divide. You can shrink the local disk C if you prefer. This won't affect or corrupt the operating system. In my case, I want to shrink the drive D. I want to create a new disk partition from it. Simply right click on the disk you want to shrink. Choose shrink volume. Wait for it to analyze the disk volume. You can see the total size of my local disk D. It will automatically show us the size of available space that we can shrink in megabytes. Now, let's enter the size in megabytes. Since I want to have a new disk space with exactly 100 gigabytes, then I will put 102,400. Remember that 1 gigabyte is equal to 1,024 megabytes. The total size after shrink will be the remaining capacity of local disk D. Click shrink to proceed. Notice that there's a new partition that has been added. You can see the size is exactly 100 gigabytes, but the status is unallocated. You can also see it's not yet added to the volume. We need first to format an assigned drive letter for this partition. Right click on it. Choose new simple volume. Click next to proceed. It will show you the volume size. Click next again. Next is we need to assign a drive letter for this partition. Letter C and D are currently in use so the next sequence available is drive E. You can choose any letter you prefer. Click next to proceed. Next is we need to format this partition. We can leave it all to default settings. The file system is NTFS. Allocation unit size is default. We can change the volume label. This would be the disk name. You can put any name you prefer. For this demo, we will use data. Make sure that perform a quick format is enabled. If not, then it will take some time to format this partition. Once everything is set, then click next. You can review the following settings. You can go back if you want to change or you missed something. Or else, click finish to proceed. Notice the changes on the partition. The name data has been added and the drive letter we chose which is letter E. It has been also added to the volume list. You can see the capacity which is 100 gigabytes and also the free space. To verify, we can open this PC or my computer. You can see the newly created drive which is letter E and named data. You can also see the drive D which was the source of the new partition. I hope by now you know how to create a new partition. You can check my other video on how to merge disk drives on Windows operating system. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you liked this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, 
subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.